C-E-O. I'm at Orlando's IAPA convention. This is basically all the theme park, amusement park arcades come out here to kind of sell their projects and uh, machines, plushies, all kind of stuff. But I want to do a new thing, an interview series on my uh, channel for you guys, especially talk to my good friend here, Kyle Ward. From Stunt Maniacs. Hey, Cal, how are you, man? How are you man? doing, Alex? Always good to good. see you. Pleasure yeah, to have absolutely, you here. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> Stunt Maniacs, right? Everyone knows my history of DDR and, and rhythm games and everything. Been doing it for, geez, 24 years. Post Project Don't Storm say that too loud. Don't say that I know. Too loud. Hey, I'm proud that I'm still alive. <laughs> well, That's too. all I'm going to say. Uh, but yeah, you're here at IAPA. I saw you here a couple years ago absolutely. as well. But uh, God, introduce yourself. How you got into rhythm games and Stunt Maniacs. Oh, man. I, I'm kind of the same. I got into the old games and DDR really inspired me. Obviously, we went on to do In the Groove. We did Pump It Up Pro, we did Re-Rave, and now here we are with Step Maniacs, and man, I, I tell you what, it's just, it, it's it's amazing every year, it's so much so much fun, just like it was, right? Yeah, so, especially you're running your booth, but you're also playing the whole time, that's how much we love these games. You know, games. I just got a comment, like, by someone a second ago, they're like, we've never seen management actually, like, play the <laughs> game, and I, was, I, mean, I don't I know. get that at my events, too. It's I like, know, right? It's, uh, do you know the manager or the runner, like, it's that guy, he's yeah. in a tournament right now, yeah. it's like, oh, that he was really nice to me earlier, you right? know? Yeah. So, so, uh, it's always fun though, because I just love seeing new people play. I love seeing the games go places. Yep. So it's all about. So Stunt Maniacs, right? Uh, it's a derivative, obviously, of previous rhythm games, but your own kind of uh, flair on. on it, take yeah. on it, right? When did it start? What gave you the idea to do this, right? Uh, it started with like a school system or something like that? Yeah, so actually, uh, first it started with pads. We just wanted to actually reinvent the pad scene, make it easy for people to have like an arcade set up at home. Yep. First stages went on sale in like 2016, I believe. We sold out of those, and we still do whenever we have them. 30 seconds a minute, I'm serious, like 200, 300 units just gone, and it's, wow. it's nuts. So it all started off like that, and then we, we figured, well, we need to make better software because you know people want uh, you still want a great experience. So that's when the software came out, basically 2017. We announced the uh, amusement version, but we did start with fitness. That was the goal with the game originally, in the beginning. And it actually sold to a little fitness center in Vancouver where I was. And what's really cool is it's actually still there. Wow. Lakeshore Athletic in Vancouver, Washington, represents. Awesome. And, it, and it's, been, it's been expanding ever since. So, yeah, so now you sell them commercially, right? We do. About how many Everywhere. machines are out there? Yeah, how oh. many machines? Uh, you were telling me about it's Europe like, is a big, big oh, yeah, no, place. Over 3,000 stages, uh, close to, oh, man, it's, it's like probably 600 cabinets that are out there. They're all international. We're doing a big push in Europe right now. We're working with many distributors. And Europe is a place that really, it's just... They didn't have a lot of dance game exposure back in the day, yeah. so they're really capitalizing on it now, and they love Set Maniacs because of you know the, how easy it is to use yeah. and all the stuff we love about dance games. Yeah, it's all there. And so. that's what's cool, right? Like me personally, I played USA Mix at uh, Islands, Islands of Adventure. Yeah, 16. Yeah. Stomps my beat, uh, yep. all the uh, dynamite rave, all that. Oh yeah. I mean, that's all we had, right? Yeah. But that was 1999, right? Fast forward to when you got started Step Maniacs, and what you did differently is when I first saw your machine at a local land center, Rob and a friend of mine at yep. RGB yep. had one. I was like, is that a touch screen to navigate the menus? Like, what gave you the ideas for accessibility, right? Every yeah, everything today is really it's touch based, right? And we even see people still try to use the old games. They walk up to the monitor, they don't understand why it's not a touch screen. Yeah. I mean, they're. they're there are some issues with using touch screens in public environments, but you, you can address that. It's not too hard. But that was our big thing is, is usability and accessibility of machines. It's hard to find a dancing game now, right? So our whole goal with this project is getting them out there, getting new people into the scene, people having fun. I mean, and yeah. ultimately you've got all kinds of different music gamers, really technical people, people that play like foot speed stuff, but ultimately it's all about having fun with your friends. And it's, and it's, it's just like any other game. It's, so it's a scene and it's, it's, it can be competitive, but it should be fun at all times. I still haven't seen any freestyle Step Maniacs tournaments, though. We're, we're, we're working on it. Okay, we're working on it. I promise. Freestyles, you know, I used to do it myself the old days. It's just you pick a song and I you make I've up seen a... I've seen some videos, a, actually, uh, right? Yeah, don't, don't YouTube search it. They're horrible. <laughs> I look back, but like, you know, back in my prime, right? Like, I really enjoyed ITG2 when that came out because that was a yep. more challenging one. Yep. Oni and Extreme, actually. If you guys don't know, I have an Extreme machine at my house. Always want to step maniacs. I will when I get a bigger I'll house. Get one eventually. Uh, but uh, I mean, how far it's come, right? How many iterations of step maniacs has come stage-wise? Yeah. So this is the fifth generation. The, when we started, we started with different sensors. We obviously improved things over time because, you know, honestly, as you as you progress, there's always things that are pros and cons about any product, and we we like to improve things and make it you know better than it was before. Yeah. So this is our fifth generation. Um, what we mainly did is the the LEDs and the panel. Uh, we changed up so there were no uh, decals and graphics. It's all done by the lights. So it's, a, it's an impressive LED yep. show. And, and, and this is, uh, 
we, we, this is our new deluxe machine at the show. I'm not sure. Did you see it? I'm yeah, sure you've seen that's it. beautiful. Massive screen. They get one of the biggest. 65 inch, you said? Between 65 and 70. So it's, it's like got to be one of them. No. You can say 65. Okay. But, you know. It's bigger than the 27-inch CRT I used to play DDR right. on, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and but, lighter, I'm sure. Right. So. But, and, and it's actually funny because with the big screen, we had to make modifications to make sure that you know, smaller people could still reach the UI. So we made sure all of that worked well with the deluxe awesome. cabin. And you see all the little kids still using it, just like the standard version. So one technical question, right? CRTs yeah. is how we played you know, dance games in the past. Yeah. Being LCDs, right? How do you deal with the lag situation? Is that pre-programmed? So, yeah, to be honest, actually, it's gotten really good now with LCDs. They're not quite what CRTs were. But I mean, I have at home a uh, LG Ultra Gear. It's a 0.1 millisecond of yeah, lag. Yeah. That I run retro stuff on. Runs I mean, flawless. Our, our, we, we were working with LGs on our, our LG on our monitors, and actually, the, the latency I think is like one millisecond or That's something. That's awesome. But we designed the timing windows and everything with the audio accordingly, even with the distance, because when you when you put speakers a certain level, you know, the, there is latency that occurs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all of that's fine tuned, and it's it's like a plug and a play, play appliance, right? You don't have to worry about it. Yeah. That's really one of the advantages of the game is you don't have to worry about tweaking anything because it's just ready to go. Yeah. So, I remember test mode, all that event mode stuff like that. Yeah. So, uh, but you know, this is everywhere your machine now. Um, I asked you a little bit earlier, like songs. How do you decide what songs do you pick? So, and you're telling me big requests come in. Yeah, we, we have requests literally every day, sometimes every two hours. The best way to do it, we have a Discord channel that's really active with our community members. There's a submit form there, a Google form that you can fill out. If you know the publisher, it usually helps. Our licensing usually is, is global, so it really is, we have to be picky with what we pick because, you know, every, every country is different, but we have to yeah. make sure it works everywhere. So it's always, we're always listening to feedback. We're always trying to introduce stuff. We actually, I like to tell people that we, we have one of the best song lists because it's, you can look at the games of the past and we've got those songs in here because we're working with those artists again. Yeah. Where sometimes some of them are modern versions, sometimes they're the old version. We kind of do everything. But the ultimate goal is just to make sure that everyone's got something that they really enjoy, whether or not it's freestyle or yeah. technical play. It's all there and it's, it's great. And then also your community, right? It's very easy to find where these machines are, right? Yes, we, we just introduced a new location tracker on the site. Gives you a little overview of where every single machine is in the world, and it, I mean, it's it's shocking how much it's expanding quickly. It's 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 actually becoming, it's one of one of the number one dance game brands. We got so Dracula we got, behind we got us. Dracula. Yeah. Oh, no. This place is awesome. By the way, it's more than just arcade machines. It's all that. Um, I mean, what else? What's what's in the pipeline, right? Just trying to get more machines out there. We're trying to do more events. Uh, we want to get more people yep. playing. We we really are. We focused. do host that Maniacs at CEO for Project Storm. So amazing event. If yeah. you're not part yeah. of it, then you really should be. Yeah. Um, but we're just really trying to get accessibility of the game out. That's the focus to us. Getting it as, in many places as possible with as many people playing it. With as yep. many types of play that they want. Awesome. So, so uh, I mean, that's it for me, man. You're here all week, right, showing this off. I, and it's cool because you go and you, I remember the old days, right, and going to the arcades and people would just watch, like, what the hell is this, right? Now, yep. they see it and it's more like, yep. I remember this, but this looks way better than I remember, and right? And the new people that never saw it and they're like, yeah, new it, generation. It's, it's like the new, yeah, exactly. and now a lot of us with kids or yep. that I don't know about yet, probably. But like, you have, you know, we travel, we're busy, generation. we're busy, we're busy guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, so tell me one last question yeah. for you, right, being an entrepreneur as well, you started this obviously with yourself, then you had your friends, like, all your buddies are people you've known for years. It's yes. not, you're not just hiring random employees. No, these They're are all passionate. people that are really passionate about steps or graphics or yep. I, we work with the best people and you know I get a lot of credit for things but I really give a lot of credit to the people that work with us because they're just as passionate as I am. Yeah. It's, it's, for them it's amazing to see too because we just want to take it as far as it can yep. go. And how many people do you have now helping Our out? Our team is really small. It's like less than six people, believe it or not. Still awesome. I believe yeah. your UI designer is over there. Yep. He's like, if Kyle's busy, you can ask me questions. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I will at some point. But, you know, Kyle, I'm really proud of you, dude. You know, knowing same, you for many, many same. years, man. Yeah, uh, always any last comments about Step Maniacs? No, Where should they go to find out more? You can always hit us up at stepmaniacs.com, steprevolution.com. Check out our Discord. Check out Facebook. We're yeah. on there. But you can find us. We're right. accessible. Reminds so. me of the forums, DDREI and all there that. There you go. Yep. Those are the old days. But yep. now we're bringing it back. We're bringing right. it back. Oh, good, 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 good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But Discord is very easy even for my events and stuff. But yeah. Kyle, yeah. congrats on your success, man, Thank and you. Uh, Thank appreciate you. you, my friend. Yep. Thank you. Take Until care. Next time. Yep. Thank you, guys. E O, come on. The drink took some time, but now we're on the rise. C E O.